life and death situation for a popular and beloved community leader who got bit multiple times by a spider and ended up in the ICU. Family and friends now at the hospital praying for her recovery. New special Stan Rascone spoke with some of those family members and joins us now from Intermountain Medical Center in Murray. Dan, what do you know? Mike and Ashley, what started out as just a little bit of a sickness, maybe thinking it was a COVID or the flu, suddenly turned into a life or death situation for Susie. She was brought here to the emergency room. She's undergone seven surgeries, but fortunately right now, she's taken a turn for the better. Susie gets hundreds of emails and phone calls a day. A vibrant, energetic, and loved community leader who went from looking like this to a medically induced coma in the ICU in just a matter of days. We thought we may lose her. Now it's an around the clock watch on 59 year old Susie Felch Maliofo'o, all because of spider bites, 15 of them believed to be from the brown recluse spider. It looks like if you've ever seen a shark bite, it looks like somebody just came and took a, a huge chunk out of her back. It was just over two weeks ago when Susie and her family went to Mirror Lake in the Uintas for a fun picnic and fishing trip. Days later, she started getting really sick. A week later, they took her to the emergency room and she was rushed into surgery. The bacteria from the infected wounds ate away the flesh. The wound now is a foot long, eight inches wide and about seven inches deep. Susie runs a nonprofit Pacific Islander foundation called PICTAR, an organization that helps victims of domestic violence and sexual assault. Just last summer, she was on Forbes magazine as one of the top 50 most influential women across the country that are over 50 years old. So to see her like this has not been easy on family. Very, very tough. Lots of time spent in prayer. And friends. It's been really hard. Susie's like a, a big sister to me and I love her deeply. Fortunately, Susie is making great progress. She is now out of surgery and communicating. There's still no indication just how long Susie will be here at the hospital. But her organization is preparing for a big event. This Saturday, they're kicking off the Pacific Islander Heritage Month, which takes place in August. Susie is telling others she wants to be there, but that will be another miracle. I'm Ben Rascone for KSL 5 News.